I'm Ethan Horvath, and I'm a goalkeeper for the U.S. men's national team. I've been around the game my whole life pretty much. Before MLS was around, my dad played in the professional indoor league. And then he was soccer coach at Columbine High School for 20 plus years, boys and girls varsity team. So pretty much from day one, I've been around the sport my whole life. When I went on the European tour, I was 15. We were around, I think, two weeks in Europe, training, playing games in Austria, Italy, Switzerland, Germany. I was lucky enough at the end of the of the tour, Molda asked for me to go train there. They wanted to sign me after the first session, but since I was so young at the time, didn't really know how to uh, be over legally. So after the one week, I went back to Colorado. Next day, started my junior year of high school. That January, my mom and I, we flew to England. I dropped out of high school, but my mom flew with me so that we could continue through homeschooling. Started off at Man City, I think it was, for about two, three weeks. And then after that, went to, went to Stoke City for, I think it was around three months before I had to go back to California for an under-18 national team camp. That's when Molda came calling. Molda called and said, we, we think we found a situation and uh, a scenario where we can get, get this to work and Ethan can come and stay and not have to come back and forth. Their solution was that my mom and dad have to move over there and become residents of the country. And since I was under 18, I could apply for uh, a family visa. Sold the car, sold the house, put furniture and whatever else into storage. They flew my mom and dad over and situated an apartment and jobs for them. It wasn't the most flattering of, of jobs that they had. They were pretty much janitors at the stadium, waking up very early in the morning, having to go to the stadium and pretty much clean toilets and scrub the floors. It's not nice knowing your parents are cleaning toilets and cleaning up after your, your peers in the changing room. But at the same time, it was also nice because while training, I could always see them and I would always give them a wave and stuff. So the bigger picture took over from there. They put their life on hold for two plus years just to see if this dream would work out. What my parents did, you know, if they didn't do that, I don't think I would be where I am today, sitting where I am today. Without their, their sacrifice, I don't think I would made it as far as I have. <laughs> hey, Mom and Dad. Um, <sighs> hey, Mom and Dad. Um, just want to say thank you for everything you guys have done. I love you guys. <laughs> 